Greetings everyone, Deathplay here and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. As you probably heard in the last part, I had to make a cut because the video got way too long. So this video is going to start just like this. At this point, I would like to remind you of leaving a like and maybe subscribe to this channel. It would make me really happy. Enjoy this video. Come on, Sean. If you can't find the key, I can still use my power. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I can't... I can't find it. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Can't find anything. Damn it. I already stole from the donation box. I am not going to... Going to break up a door. Wedding picture? <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <laughs> Man, he looks so different. But Karen, Soon. Karen looks a lot like like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little kid. Karen looks a lot like Claire. Don't be shy. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, in the Holy Bible, maybe? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Ah. Uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. I can't find the freaking key. I can't find it. I want to have a look again. Small town hero starter pack. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I looked Wish at I everything up here. My thing too. I looked at everything in this room. It's not here. It is not here. Maybe behind a picture? No. No. Ah. Okay, let's close the door. I need to talk. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Well, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. I looked at everything. We have to get into that room before they come back. Oh, fuck. I can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. But be careful. And don't blow apart the whole house. Oh, God. Uh, he's gonna crush the door. <gasps> okay. Really? Oops. What? Wow. I have a bad feeling about this. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? They probably put everything in these boxes. Okay. They want to forget anything related to Karen. I can relate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, we saw it. Let's go, Daniel. Old phone. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Man. That pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Dear Karen, thank you so much for your letter. I thought you might have forgot your pen pal. It's so boring out here and your letters are the best thing ever. You were saying you get very lonely too sometimes, but they're in Beaver Creek, so I'm glad we found each other. Uh, it is funny, not 
that I have this big family, but I'm so jealous of you for being an only child. You get the whole house to yourself like a queen. I told you before how my stupid brother Ethan is such a immature boy, even though he's the oldest and uh, of all my siblings. He thinks he's so cool now just because he has a driver's license, whatever. Just wait till we can drive, then we can finally visit each other. I hear my dad telling about something, so I gotta bail before he gets to me. Please write back soon and I'll... Something's happening with my PC, sorry. Uh, uh, da, da. I'll write as soon as you do. Your only favorite pen pal, Emma. Okay. Exit. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. No! We gotta go now! We gotta go now! We have to go now! I can't go out. Ugh! Why do you make me do this? Why? I'm a good person. I already stole that yo-yo for you. Let's go. Come on. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. I've never seen any picture of mom in our home. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Okay, um... The Silverax? Is that an Amethyst? Ooh! <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. A poem? Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Okay, I hear the green chorus singing in the forest in the ancient grey, wrapping me in their wood spell their song. The roots like fuses that explode in reverse. When I hide when I hide in my heart hearing that sound that makes me feel older than the forest, older than you, but younger than the crying river at my feet. Okay. If I slid into the soil with the voices muffle, like my face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there, I could sneak in through the wormholes but that would only lead down. So over the treetops over the river I feel myself leaving forever. Forever, bleh. Okay. Hmm. So that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. Oh. These pictures are so... Okay. Random. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> I know, and I know. They looked happy. So... How could she send all of this to hell? So this is clear. This is Karen, I think, and this is Steven, I guess. Okay. I looked at this. I looked at this. Uh, the chest. Did she tell you why you she left? left? She told Dad, and Dad told me. He told. Oh, Karen oh shit, take sorry. Pictures of strangers when we walk down the streets. She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too. Right? All he ever said to me was... She wasn't so sure... Hi, Teddy Bear. What she... Wanted with her life. Well... I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing too. I know. Okay. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. Yeah, me either. But here, I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. You were a friend of my mommy's? Karen was still with us then. I hope she took good care of you. Oh. There's another letter. These letters look pretty recent. Let's open that one. Why would Claire lock these up in here? 
Maybe because it hurts her to read them? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What does it say? What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. <gasps> what? What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. <gasps> it's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Oh my god. Well, a cop out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, oh yeah, right. My god. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. Yeah. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. And For go now. to Mexico. Can I read it again? But then you have yeah. to get out. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. <gasps> what happened? Oh, shit. shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly ransacking our house while we're at church. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. Claire. We're sorry, but we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Yeah. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Uh-oh. She wants to see us! She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. Oh my god. Don't blame Just us. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. Oh, God. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that... Breaking our door to sneak into the room. Oh. Huh. That shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? I'm sorry. Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Uh-oh, oh, 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 shit, what happened? Oh, oh no! Shit. Get this oh my God! Goddamn thing off me! Oh no! Stephen, no! Hold on, honey. We'll get it off. Oh shit! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! <gasps> oh, what? Daniel has to use his power. Oh God! Use power. Lift together. Oh god, this could really hurt his legs. Steven already knows. And Claire, well. Use it. Use it. Do it, Daniel. Now. Do what? What's going on? Oh lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? You can do it. You can do it. Yes. I 
don't care about Claire right now. This is about Steven. I just hope he's not hurt. <gasps> oh, he did it. Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. Yeah. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. Uh -oh. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Yeah. Maybe it was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay. It's, it's the sheriff. Oh, God. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call him. I know. I know. I know. Oh shit. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Oh. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry. Oh. For everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Oh, Claire. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Oh. Bye, Damn. Stephen. Bye, Claire. Oh, no. I really wish we could have stayed here. Hi, officer. I hope they get away. Or better said, I hope Claire and Steven are going to be okay. Ass, bro. Such, uh, such as, as Chris. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they are everywhere. This way. <sighs> Wait, uh, cover fell on us? Oh, shit. Run. Run. Oh shit, they saw him. <gasps> oh god. Chris, what are you doing? Chris! <gasps> Chris! No! No, Chris! No! No! Oh god! <laughs> Oh god, no! Oh god! Sorry. Oh my god. That's exactly what I was talking about! Oh my god. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. No, he's not okay. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. What? I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey... You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <gasps> huh. It's not my fault, it's your fault! Didn't even let I'm sorry! What if he is dead? Oh God, 
First of all, I'm sorry, but I told you right away to be careful. I told you right away. I knew this would happen. You t you you left him up to this uh to this thinking that the power would come from him. So, sorry, it's not my fault. I hope. Could I have changed something about that? Please tell me in the comments. So, we don't know. Daniel, we don't know that, okay? So, stop jumping into conclusions. We'll catch up on him as soon as we can. I... I... But... But I need to know. You will. Just... Later. When it's safe. Sean. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Oh, they're jumping on trains now. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. So Daniel said, because I told him to keep it a secret, he could not do anything about it with Chris. Should I told him back then to just stop lying to Chris? It's me, it's me, you oh, that's her song. That's Classity's song. Yeah. Okay, I highly regret this. I should have told him just to keep it uh, to, to stop lying to Chris. That would have been better. I just wanted to encourage Daniel to stop fooling around like this because in keeping it a secret he would have eventually stopped to fool around like that like that uh, scene when, um, when we went over to Chris's house and, and uh, we saw Daniel playing around with the toys like that and left Chris in the belief that, it, that this was his power Okay, that's the ending of uh, episode two. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I would love to go back and change that decision that... Um, I don't even know if it would have changed anything. If, if like, if I would told him to stop lying to Chris uh, that it would have saved his life. I don't know about that. But I got the feeling that this is chained up like that. Sora just sneezed. <laughs> Sorry. So, if you know anything about it, um, please leave a comment in the... Please leave a comment. And, yeah. As I said, I would love to go back and change that, but I'm 
doing a let's play here. Brr. We have to accept this and move on. Yeah. What I forgot in the last episode was to um, look at this. I, I forgot about this in the last episode. So, you threw the snowball properly. You threw a snowball at the... 53% did that? That's so mean! You threw a, snow a snowball at Mushroom. 1%. Oh, that's mean. You threw a snowball at Daniel and Mushroom. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. You enter... You intervened and scared the cougar off. 44% did that not? They let Daniel kill the cougar? Oh my god. You prayed together with Claire and Daniel. You refused to pray. Okay, yeah. No one prayed you. Uh, Claire play, prayed alone. You refused to pray with Claire and Daniel. Okay. You confessed to Stephen about Daniel's power. Yeah, okay. That was pretty, yeah, okay. That was pretty even. You helped with extra cores. You didn't help with extra cores. So I did it right. Okay, so I did the washing right. <laughs> okay. You told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. Yeah, okay. Um, You didn't use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. Okay. You didn't use the phone to call Lila. Yeah. You couldn't talk to Lila and lied to her mother. Okay, you couldn't talk to Lila and told the truth to her mother. Ooh, okay. That would have been interesting. You gained Chris's trust and got him to open up about his father. Oh, I could have done that? How? I would have loved. I would have loved to gain his trust. You gained Chris's trust and didn't ask about his father. You didn't gain Chris's trust. Oh my god, I totally messed up about Chris. There, you told Daniel to stop lying to Chris about his power. There, yeah. Okay, you listened to Cassidy's songs until the end. You didn't listen to Cassidy's song. You drew a spaceship. You didn't draw for Chris. Oh, so many people didn't draw for Chris? You stole a Christmas present for Daniel. You bought a Christmas present for Daniel. You found several Christmas presents for Daniel. Found? How? You didn't get involved in... Charles and Charles's problems. You had an honest conversation with Charles about his problems. Well, okay. You let Daniel use his power to help Stephen and he wasn't hurt. I I'm wondering, does anyone of you know how I could uh gain Chris's trust and have an uh, an honest conversation with Charles? I would know how I would love to know uh, how to do this. If you know how to do that, please leave a comment down below too. You let Daniel use his power to help Steven and he wasn't hurt. You chose to pull Steven together and injured his leg. Okay, so that was that was a good decision. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Sorry. That's good to know that I did something good for once. Okay. Um the cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car. Cop chased you and Chris wasn't hit by a car. How did that happen? He wasn't hit by a car? That that was a possibility? Ah, uh, The cop... Sorry. The cop didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. Oh, that's probably when we could have gained Chris's trust. And I think this would have been if I told Daniel to stop lying to Chris, maybe that would have been like this. I totally messed that one up. Okay. Oh, okay. Daniel continued to swear. <laughs> okay. Daniel won the dice game without cheating. Daniel lost the dice. Okay. Daniel didn't kill the cougar. Daniel was not able to bury Mushroom. Daniel was able... Daniel was able to bury her? How? Daniel agreed to pray. Daniel refused to pray. Daniel tidied the room. Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. Daniel wasn't asked to help with the Chris. Uh, Daniel ob obeyed and told Chris the truth about his power. Daniel was told to tell the truth, but he continued lying to Chris. 
Oh man, Daniel wasn't asked to tell the truth to Chris. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use it. Overall, Daniel was repressed from using his power. Yeah, Daniel didn't didn't have to save Chris. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't use his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel blamed you for Chris's accident. Ah. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. Daniel blamed himself. Oh god. Daniel was too upset to enjoy his present. Yeah, sure. I can understand that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Great. I'm not happy about this episode. I am not happy about this episode. Okay. So, um... This part was a bit longer. Yeah, it was very long. I'm sorry about that. I didn't get a good point where to stop. So, yeah. Um, so this got a little bit longer, as I just said. Um, still, I hope you, li you like what you saw. If so, please don't forget to move the like button. And I wish with my very heart that I may greet you in the next video. Ciao! -y. Boop!